Hello, students and friends. Luigi Mondelli here with another weekly talk. Today, I will expand a little bit more on our mindset talk. I have recorded other videos about sharing how I think or how or things that I have adopted in my life in order to strengthen my mindset in so many different areas in my life. And this is not mine, of course. I will mention here in a second, uh, but this is something that I heard before. I never really paid attention that much until I understood better. And um, I also heard the same words in philosophy during my firearms training courses with Kyle DeFore. And I will link here his video with his mindset or part of just a little tiny part of his mindset talk that um, he has on his YouTube channel. And I think it, a lot of the things you will see from his words and same things I'm going to say here, you can apply to all different areas in your life. Um, you can put in any kind of context when you look to create good habits, when you look, uh, for instance, what you need to do, the steps in order to get closer to your goals. And remember, like, the way that I think, and again, this is something that I learned from other people and learning and reading other books, is even though I'm, I really set my goals, I'm more value-oriented than just goal-oriented. And this is uh, my way, in, again, to search for happiness throughout the process in whatever I engage in. So these words are from a philosopher, Chinese philosopher. You guys are, again, I bet you heard this before, from Lao Tzu. And it says, uh, watch your thoughts, it become your words. Watch your words, it becomes your actions. Watch your actions, it becomes your habits. So it's pretty much thoughts, words, deeds, or actions, and habits. And I saw Kyle talking about that, and it reminded me from when I heard this for the first time. And I really like the progression when it comes to visualization and how you're going to organize your mindset in order to achieve or try to go after your goals. So let's put uh, the way that I think. And you will see that Kyle explains the same way. People will interpret this in um, different uh, ways as well because, again, this is a philosophy and is really open to interpretation. But again, I believe that you can put this in any context. So let's, let's think here. So first, I formulate my thoughts, right? So I can, I kind of visualize myself where I want to be. And I'm not going to put any context right now. So we can, you can use this, think about your professional life, think about your um, love life, or think about your competition life in martial arts or, you know, in CrossFit, in anything you do, or trying to maybe build a house or maybe build a business or anything. So we formulate our thoughts. So we've, I really like visualizing uh, things that are like to become concrete. And I'll go after the, uh, at the end, I'll explain about my faith. But this is, again, this is all, I'm, I'm not teaching you, I'm not the type of motivational guy um, or neuro-linguistics guy that it's, you know, this is just how I think and I'm, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm right. I just want you, I just want to share with you. But I will think, formulate my thoughts, see where I want to be or my goals in that situation. And I put this into words. So you could, I will explain how we do this too. I, I'm going to try to show you here my setup at home. Um, so I put into words, sometimes I write it down. Sometimes I create this in uh, form of tasks. And I, I really like to use um, any task type of software or application to help me stay on track. This is just one example. So I get my thoughts where I want to be, I visualize and I put into words. And I also try to formulate what I need to do and put into words what I need to do in order to achieve that ultimate goal or what I'm visualizing. So now it's time to act. So your thoughts become words, your words become action. Because if you just stop in any step of this process, you're not going to reach anything. So if I just think about, oh, I would love to have a um, nicer house, let's put this way. But okay, that's just a thought. Let's put into words what I have to do, 
what type of house where is it um just in in the place where i love to be closer to the nature close to the beach i i don't really i'm not talking about material stuff as far as size uh, looks and etc. For me, it's all about your environment and atmosphere around you. And it could be a house, it could be a tiny house, it could be a, a camper. As long as that's that's the place that you will call home, you need to make sure that that's your dream home, right? So in my case, I think about something small, closer to the nature. So I visualize these things, but I cannot stop right here. So what do I need to do to get there? Well, I need to work and um, how I will work how I will save money, how I will organize myself, what I need to do now, how many hours I need to work. Just one quick example. Okay, now it's time to do what I thought and what I uh, determined in words, right? So, okay, now it's time to, to work hard. It's time to organize my finances, maybe to get a software to organize my finances better, see where my money is going, how I'm saving money, how I can cut this, can cut that. And... The repetition of the thoughts, the words, and especially the actions, and most of all the actions, will become my habits. Anytime, this is, a, in my opinion, is a, uh, it's a non-stop effort. Anytime I just stop, well, I think about something, I think I want to be a champion. I want to fight MMA. Okay. Why now? Okay. Okay. Uh, I need to join the gym, or if I'm in the gym, I need to come up with my schedule. If I have already schedule, I need to think about my nutrition. If I already have my nutrition, I need to make sure that I'm working hard, but I'm also resting and I'm having good habits, um, uh, staying uh, away from any substances that can uh, get in the way of my training, etc., etc. Okay, now let's put this all together and let's act, all right? So... I follow my schedule, I follow my nutrition, I stay away from substances, I live my life better, I live my life well, I try to be uh, less stressful or manage be better my stress because I don't think anybody, uh, especially this time in our lives, we can live, live completely stress-free. Regardless, and the next day, I'll do the whole thing again. So I keep thinking about where I want to be, I keep um, acting, so I keep... Um, creating my list i still find my actions that i need to 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 establish i put into words my goals i put into words my actions and then i act and then again i repeat again the next day so that's how we build our habits right and it's really good to create that routine in my opinion and that gives you a north that gives you a go most of all Within your actions, I think you should think about the values that you're going to carry during the process. So what are the values? I want to make sure that I keep working on myself, but I'm not going to stop helping other people. I will uh, do everything that I can to become successful, to become a champion, to fight MMA or fight in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, whatever I'm practicing. Um, and I will keep helping people that are also looking for the same things. If you're a police officer, think about how you want to be safer, how you want to keep people safe as well, even the bad person you're trying to restrain, control, but at the same time, you're thinking about what you need to do in order to protect your life and go uh, back home alive for your loved ones. So those are your thoughts. So let's put this into words. What do you need to do? Is your training enough? Not enough. So let's go to a martial arts school. Let's get a good martial arts school that is supportive so you can learn uh, more, so you can do less and you stay safe. Other people stay safe. And um, those are your actions and those things becomes your habit. And now you can serve and protect much better everyone. And you can also uh, stay safer and keep people safe in a safe way. That's just one example. If uh, you, you could translate this this to your corporate world, like I said before, I have, you know, not that long, but at least like about nine to ten years of experience working for big, corp big, big, big corporations in Brazil, big banks and big oil companies. So I have a little bit of experience in working in an environment with many teammates, with many workmates. And, of course, I always looked for my uh, progression. I always looked um, to move on say on ranks, I was a 
I started as a junior uh, programmer and I finished as a senior assistant analyst in a big company and I was in the last um, the last step in the you know within the layers in you know my hierarchy uh, chain and I changed my focus and I decided to live my life teaching what I love and doing what I love, which is to help people through martial arts and help myself as well. I like the altruist, um, altruistic mindset as well, that uh, helping others help myself. You know, so every time I help other people, I help myself. And, and there's a huge joy in helping other people. So again, you can set your goals and make sure that you also don't leave anybody behind. If you're an MMA fighter, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter, and you're a competitor, if you are a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor that is also a competitor, what you want to do is you want to train as much as you can, you set your goals, you visualize where you want to be, you put into action, your, uh, into words, your words become your actions, and every day you go to the gym, train as much as you can, it become your habits. Now, I want to make sure that I'm lifting people up together with me. I'm not just working for myself. So I, I, that, that type of altruism is also, I think it enriches my life as much as possible. And, and which is kind of like, um, I don't, don't want even to sound like that because a real altruistic person doesn't talk about uh, his or her actions to help other people. So I'm not saying that I'm any type of, uh, you know, amazing person at all because I'm not. But my point is, Every time, I'm, at least I'm trying to get somewhere else, I'm making sure that some people are following me or that I'm bringing people together. And if, if that worked for me, it might work for many other people as well. So again, I adopt these mindsets in my life and then it helped me. So that's why I'm sharing with you because if it helped me having that type of visualization um, and those process following this philosophy and hearing this again from Kyle and from Bill Raper and from other friends, that have a really strong mindset. I feel like, well, it worked really well for me and my work really well for you. And when it comes to uh, my faith, I'm a believer and I respect everybody's um, choice to believe. Even I believe that even if you don't believe in anything, you still believe on that. So uh, we all have our uh, belief systems. We all have our, um, yeah, it's pretty much, you know, your belief system, even when you don't believe in anything. Only, even if you just believe in science, even if you just believe in coincidence, whatever. My way to see is I visualize, I organize myself. I don't think things will happen if I don't act. I don't think that God will help me if I don't do my part. So that's, again, my faith. So every, all visualization that I do, I put in God's hands. But that's my faith, and that's how I believe and I, I give my thoughts, I offer my thoughts to God, and I act on them. That's the only difference. Like many people, they have this uh, amazing, say, faith, and they expect things to happen and materialize, materialize in front of them, but they don't really act. So I think at the end of the day, however you think and whoever you think, or if you don't think in anything and think about just karma and science and Darwin, fine, I respect you 100%. That's your beliefs. Believe or not, uh, that's your 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 beliefs. So um, it's very interesting too. If you want to expand this, um, maybe um, study, I will recommend uh, the book Maps of Meaning from Jordan Peterson. It's very technical, very uh, hard to read in my opinion because I'm not a someone with uh, maybe that education in those areas. But I would suggest if you have time. And if you really want to dig deep in how, you know, our belief systems are organized and uh, the meanings that we get attached to uh, in life, amazing book, most scientific, scientific, you know, scientifically speaking, that I can suggest to you is Maps of Meaning from Jordan Peterson. And, but that's how my, my, my mindset works. I, I have my thoughts, my visualization, I put into uh, words, I act, and I try to create habits. So right in front of me, right where I'm sitting here, I was gonna try to move the camera, but I don't wanna edit anything. I have my, uh, a board, a frame, and first picture on my left here, might be your right side, I don't know if the camera gonna flip, it's my family. So I have a picture of my wife, I have a picture of my daughters, 
to my left side here, I have a picture of my sister. I have a picture of my mom. And I make sure that we have pictures that we all smiling and happy. A second picture I have is a house, a dwelling that I would love to be in or live in one day. But not necessarily it's about riches or or the fancy stuff, which may be comfort and nature. Right next to it, there's a picture of a really beautiful uh, martial arts school that it's pretty much American Top Team headquarters. And I think that is the most beautiful martial arts school training facility in the world. And I admire there that and I have that. And right next to that, I have uh, a few other things. I also have my ornaments. So I have my uh, crucifix because that represents a lot to me. And, um, and that's my visualization. When I sit here in my office and I look right over the camera, that's what I see. And to the side here, I see my daughters. I see more pictures of my daughters and my family. And all I want is to see them happy and uh, stable in life. So, of course, those little material things may be a successful business. It doesn't need to be big as American Top Team. I'm happy with what I have. Um, but that's a sign of a solid uh, institution or business that will provide safety and security to my life and my daughters. The same thing at home that I can have a, a, a shelter, a ceiling above my head. And, and, of course, seeing my family happy means that they are healthy. They are uh, happy, healthy, and uh, they are enjoying life even through the stresses of life. So that's my mindset talk for today. Uh, try to create good habits. Try to get rid of bad habits, which it could be anything that makes you addicted some way, one way or the other. It could be your social media. It could be your cell phone. Reevaluate your um, opinions and uh, all the time. I really believe that we have to always be challenging our thoughts. I changed a lot. Like I said, this is something that I'm going to start recording more for the Great Matter Project. Many things the way that I used to see. What I'm fighting now in my life, because I think we have to pick our fights. We cannot fight. So There's a flavor of the month right now or a couple. Uh, I don't need necessarily to join them, to support them, and I have my other fight. And uh, my fight right now is to show people that social media has been creating a nation of dumb people because, I'm sorry if I'm very blunt, it's just because people have been more worried about virtual signaling than really digging deep into the real issues and bring a better educated, uh, Pacific um, nice conversations to the table as far as everything that's going on. But let's do our part. Try to organize your life. Again, watch your thoughts. It becomes your words. Watch your words. It becomes your actions. Watch your actions. It becomes your habits. Don't forget that this is going to work the other way around as well. So if you, um, if you have bad thoughts and you put this into bad words, you're going to have bad actions. You're going to create bad actions, and these bad actions will create your bad habits. God, God bless you all, regardless if you believe in God or not. I'm still going to wish you well, everyone, even my enemies. I don't know if I have enemies. I don't know why people would consider me an enemy, but we cannot please everyone. And that's the price of being authentic. All right, guys, thanks so much. See you on the mats soon.